dangerous is muscle loss and what effect does it have on the immune system? So when we lose weight, whether it's diet, exercise, bariatric surgery, God forbid, uh, a serious illness, we always lose a proportion of lean mass as well as fat mass. The reality is when we do surveys of people in these weight loss studies over the long term and we ask them, how strong are you? How energetic are you? Can you do more? Can you exercise more? People actually feel healthier and stronger on these medicines. Now, is there a possibility that someone who's older and more frail might develop some weakness? Of course, but the vast majority of patients find that their health is improved. We know that people have to stay on these drugs long term because stopping them often leads to regaining weight. Do we know enough about what possible risks or side effects there could be from taking these drugs essentially forever? Forever is a long time. These medicines were first approved for type 2 diabetes in 2005. So these are not new medicines. One can argue, however, that semaglutide has been around for you know, less than 10 years for obesity, terzepatide has been around for only three years or so. But we have used these medicines in probably hundreds of millions of people with type 2 diabetes, most of whom were also living with obesity. So we'll always be vigilant about what we don't know, but these are not new medicines with an unproven safety record.